Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Crystal Reports, you can use either the Format Editor dialog box or the Formatting Toolbar to apply various aesthetic enhancements to the selected objects within your reports. The basic technique used to apply formatting is simple. Select the report object or objects to which you wish to apply formatting and then either use the buttons available in the Formatting Toolbar or the choices available through the Format Editor dialog box to apply your desired choice of formatting options. Let's look at the formatting toolbar and the various buttons which we can click to apply the selected formats. When you click on a field, you can see some of the options that are available. Some of the buttons have small drop-down arrows to the right of the button that you can choose an option for, such as font or font size. For example, also, clicking the small drop-down arrow to the right of font color allows you to specify a different font color if desired. Also, some of the buttons may appear grayed out or unavailable. That just simply means that the associated formatting of the button cannot be applied to the type of report object that is selected. For example, if we select a text object in the report, the numeric formatting button, such as currency, will appear grayed out as you cannot apply numeric formatting to text objects. Now the formatting toolbar is designed to allow quick access to some of the most commonly used formatting options available. So we have things like bold, italic, underline, left align, right align, justify, font color, and things such as that. However, some specific types of formatting that you may wish to apply can only be accessed through the Format Editor dialog box. Once again, to use this method, you must first select the object or objects to which you wish to apply the formatting. Then either right-click on the selected object or objects and choose the command that begins with the word Format and then the name of the object, such as Format Text in this case, or Format Field in this case or just simply choose the format command from the menu bar and then just select the topmost command in the drop-down list which is also going to be format and then the selected object's name. Either way, this will launch the format editor dialog box. And in this dialog box, you can click through the tabs which are available at the top of the dialog box to view formatting options that can be set on each one of the tabs. The tabs which appear, however, will once again vary depending on the type of report object which was selected prior to invoking the Format Editor dialog box. Next, we are going to look at the various tabs that can appear within the Format Editor and what options we can specify on each one. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.